It has to have a point at the end of the brow. So light strokes at the top coming over to connect with the tail at the end of the brow. So you must have this point at the end of the brow. It should not be wider, it should be together. So let's try that on our client. We're going to fill, so very light, we're going to take our eyebrow pencil and fill in the spaces of between the two lines that we drew earlier. Very, very light like I'm doing, we're just filling in any spaces. So we should be filling in the spaces, filling in the spaces. Let's say. So, most people use their brush upwards. We're going to use the brush to the side. So, it may feel a little tricky, but having your brush on the side creates precision lines versus using the top where it's not straight. So, it will cause gaps between the eyebrow. So, we want to do it sideways and just pull. This is what creates the lines. So I'm just gonna show you a little demo of what I'm what I'm talking about. So with the concealer in the back of my hand, I'm then going to saturate the brush front and the back. We don't want it overly saturated, but enough so the product can move. So make wiping off, wiping on. Now sideways, we're going to place the brush just underneath of the arch area. The arch area is the height of the brow, and I'm going to stamp. I'm just going to stamp where I want my brow line to begin. Now this creates the thickness or the thinness of the brow. Now you're working with your client's eyebrows. So if she has thick eyebrows, that's totally fine. Everybody's eyebrows are different. So I'm going to stamp on the side. I'm going to pull straight down, down into the tail. So I'm going to turn a bit to the side. Sideways, you have to hold the brush on the side. and I am the owner of Exotics Beauty Parlor. Exotics Beauty Parlor is a natural skincare business. We specialize in natural skincare and we also do services such as facials. So this week we introduce our camp, our natural arts of skincare uh, for teenagers. So today we have uh, our, we call it our fun day. We have makeup classes this morning and then this afternoon we will have a big um, class. And then Friday will be our end of camp and the campers are so sad. They wanted it to go for another, another week but I guess next year we'll plan it bigger and better. But on Friday we will have our closing ceremony. They wanted to go for another week but I didn't plan to go for another week so next year God's willing again we'll plan it bigger and better.
Hi guys, my name is Amber Stapleton and I am the CEO and the lead MUA of Notorious Styles Makeup Artistry. This is a wonderful feeling having to interact with young teenage girls, showing them, you know, my passion, explaining to them the, my love for makeup, showing them, you know, the steps of applying makeup. Um, it's a wonderful feeling. Okay, so we are, we are learning a basic a minimal natural glam that's um, one of my best sellers um, at Notorious Stars. So basically, just natural brows and natural light foundation, something that they can apply whether they're going out with friends, to the movies, something very light and teenage friendly. Um, foundation application, a little bit of contouring, um, highlighting, and neutral lips. They're loving it, they're loving it, they're loving it. As you can see behind of me, they're very interactive, engaged in um, applying the makeup. So I have them grouped in twos where one is um, the makeup artist and they gave me like their name of their business and the other one is a client. So she's working on a client right now as myself. Yes. Hi, my name is Naila and honestly this camp is very fun. I'm learning a lot, very interesting. If you go to be out of the house for the week, you know. Honestly, that's not doing shitting with this camp because I as I said, I learn a lot. Doing makeup right now, me mind not done, but yeah. So I hope if she do this camp next year, more people come out because a lot of vibes. Honestly, thank you. Hi, my name is Mia Rogers, and I've learned a lot about breast cancer and how to properly introduce myself and do a presentation properly and right now this is my favorite course makeup because this is my passion and I just want to learn better and to do better so yes yes I would like a next camp because like it, it actually it helps me to it, um, improve my skills and helps me to do better and help me to improve what I do on a daily basis so yes a next camp would be good I see myself for the next two years part time doing skills like makeup and hair, but at the same time, I still want to go to university or college and learn something tertiary.